Thank you. Have a seat, please. And Mr. Watson, who'll be your next witness? Raise your right hand. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so if you got. Yes, sir. Thank you. If you have a seat right there, please, ma'am. If you'll speak up in that smaller black microphone, that'll help me hear. Yes, sir. And if you'll tell me your first name and last name and spell them both. Anne Marie Lanning, A N N E space Marie M A R I E space Lanning, L A N N I N G. Thank you. Question, Mr. Watson. And Miss Lanning, where are you from? I'm from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Have you lived here all your life? I sure have. And where did you attend high school? I went to Riverdale High School. And after high school, tell us what you did. Um, I went to MTSU for four years on a basketball scholarship. And what was, did you graduate from MTSU? Yes, sir, May and what, 2011. Okay, and what was your major? Um, exercise science. Uh, and are you employed at this time? Yes, sir, I am. And at my family's restaurant, Rick's Barbecue, here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Did you know a person by the name of Tina Stewart? Yes, sir. And how did you know Miss Stewart? Um, I played basketball with her for th three years. I was a freshman. I was a sophomore. She came in as a freshman. Okay. And so uh, based on what you're saying then, you were one year ahead of Miss Stewart? Yes, sir. And calling your attention back to the 2010 and 2011 basketball season, since you graduated in May of 2011, that would have been your final uh, basketball season. Yes, sir. And so Miss uh, Stewart would have been what classification? She would have been a junior. Now, you you mentioned that you knew Miss uh, Stewart from basketball. Did you have occasion to see her outside of the? Uh, basketball games or basketball practices or activities? Um, when we had team get-togethers. And do you, did you, uh, the time that you were around her, in, in regards to her hygiene or cleanliness, what type of person was she? She was very neat. Her locker in the locker room was very neat. Uh, did you ever have occasion to go to her apartment? I've never been there. Did you, uh, did you know where she lived? Yes, sir. And where was that? Um, it was in, not sure what building, but it was at Raiders Crossing. Now, when you were playing basketball, what position did you play? I was a shooting guard. And uh, is that a perimeter player? Yes, sir. And what was your height listed at in the official basketball program? Um, 5'11", and I'm 5'8". Now, how did that come to happen? Um, I guess they did it for intimidation factors. I'm not okay. sure. So even though you were listed at 5'11", your actual height was 5'8", yes, some sir. three inches different. Yes, sir. And was Miss Stewart taller or shorter or the same as you are? A lot shorter than I am. What would you estimate her height to be? 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five, more 5'4", I'd say. And what position did she play? She was a guard as well. Now. Are you aware of, uh, when I speak the, of terminology of being a team leader, do you know what that means? Yes, sir. And tell us, were you ever a team leader? Yes, sir, I was the team leader. And that was when you were a senior? Yes, sir. And uh, as a team leader, what were you expected to do? Um, I was a mentor to most of the girls. And would that also include uh, Tina Stewart? Yes, sir. Do you recall uh, the day that Miss Stewart died? I do. I wasn't at practice the day of, but I was. I do recall. And do you know whether that would have been March the second of two thousand and eleven? Yes, sir. And on that date, you mentioned that you weren't at practice. Why did you miss practice that day? Um, my little sister was having a baby that day. She had the baby at twelve thirty, so that would have been when we were practicing. 
And where did your sister have her baby? Middle Tennessee Medical Center. And uh, is that the what we now would call the old hospital before uh, they moved to um, the new one? To the Medical Center Parkway? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. And that would have been located a few blocks from MTSU campus? Yes, sir. And how did you become aware that something had happened involving Ms. Stewart? Um, I have some football player friends that lived across the way from her, and they called me while I was at the hospital and told me that something had happened to one of my teammates. And uh, as a result of that, did you undertake any efforts to see if you could find out what had happened or where Ms. Stewart was? Yes. And I tell us about that. Um, I immediately called um, Courtney and couldn't get a hold of her because she was in study hall. So I called Courtney's boyfriend, Courtney Jones that is, and he got a hold of her. And then I was trying to call the coaches, explain to them what I'd heard, and then I went down to the emergency room and waited. And as a result of going to the emergency room, did you come into contact with any of the other members of the ball team or the coaches? Um, the coaches signed, but none of the members yet. They had come a little shortly after. And uh, as a result of being in the emergency room, did you find out what Miss uh, Stewart's condition was? Yes, sir. And what did you find out? That she'd been stabbed to death. Had you spoken to her at any time that day? Um, no, sir. I got a text from her saying congrats about the baby, but that was it. Now, did you know uh, Miss Stewart's boyfriend, K.C. Anuna? Yes, sir. And how, other than being Miss uh, Stewart's boyfriend, what else did you know about him? Um, he was a great guy, and that they were very in a very serious relationship, and that he was on the men's basketball team. Okay. And. Now, Ms. Lanning, I'm going to put up on the screen what's been marked as Exhibit 5, which has been identified as the 2010 and 11 uh, Lady Raider basketball schedule. And I want to call your attention to this date, January the 8th. Yes, if sir. If I can get this. Can, is that big enough where you can see it? Yes, sir. And do you see that the opponent was uh, uh, Louisiana Lafayette? And if we move on over, uh, well, it's Louisiana, but you played in, in at Lafayette, Louisiana. Do you recall that game? Uh, yes, sir, I do. And do you recall, uh, and it shows that uh, you all won. Yes, sir. And do you recall whether the men were in Louisiana, in, in Louisiana, Lafayette, playing also? Yes, they were playing that evening. Okay, and when did the Lady Raiders and, and uh, Louisiana play? Um, we played earlier that afternoon, so would have allowed us to go to their game. And did you do that? Yes, sir, we did. And was Miss Stewart with you? Um, yes, sir. And do you remember if KC Anuna played or was was there at the uh, men's game? He was there and he played. Now, you told us that you uh, mentored the basketball players as the team leader. And I'm assuming uh, when you say that, do you mean you told them how to play basketball? Or I'm sure you did some of that, but it, was it bigger than that? Yes, it was. I mean, it was more of just trying to help them get through the college level of basketball. It wasn't only just how to make this, sorry, make this move, make that move. It was to just let them know that I was there and that I'd been through it before, and I was just there to kind of help them through and kind of coach them. And would that also involve, uh, on occasion, personal matters? Yes, sir. Do you recall ever having conversations with Miss Stewart concerning personal matters or things that were happening in her life in regard to uh, her roommate in 2011? One incident in the locker room. And do you recall about when that would have been? I'm um, around January. And tell us what the nature of that was. Um, she just told us that she uh, was complaining about her roommate smoking in the apartment and she didn't need to be around that. And when you say smoking, tell us smoking what? Marijuana. And, uh, and she told you she didn't need to be around that? 
Right. And why would that be? Because we get drug tested and if we get um, the first strike, it's a big deal. And I mean, any time we get drug tested and it comes positive on a test, then it's a strike and we get talked to and then we get suspended from games. Okay. And uh, so it, the first offense, you, you have a counseling or might have to go to counseling and you're suspended. Would you repeat your last answer for me? Yes, sir. We, the first strike, you would get suspended and then you would have, you would be talked to and told that what you were doing was wrong and that it, if you did it again, then you'd be dismissed or suspended somewhere. And could, could you be suspended on your first offense? Yes, sir. And miss one or two or ever how many games somebody yes, decides? Yes, sir. And who makes that decision? The director. Athletic, athletic director. director. Yes, sir. And who was that at that time? Chris Massaro. Now, calling your attention, and I'm going to use Exhibit 5 again, and do you recall the Western Kentucky basketball game on February the 27th? Yes, sir, I do. And did you play in that game? I did. I was... Did, go ahead. ahead. Yes, sir, I did. And do you remember whether Miss Stewart played in that game? Yes, she did. And uh, moving over here, it looks like y'all won that game 64 to 56. Yes, sir. Do you remember that game? I do. And that weekend? Yes, sir. And what was your next opponent, or who was your next opponent? Um, we would have gone to the Sun Belt Tournament. Okay. I want to ask you a hypothetical question. If you had been randomly drug tested during the week between the Western Kentucky game and tested positive and had been suspended, would you have gotten to play in the first game of the Sun Belt Tournament? No, sir. Would any other player be in that same situation? Every player. It goes to every player. And so it, if you had not passed a drug test, you would have not gotten to play in the first game of that tournament, possibly the second or possibly not any. Yes, sir. Tell the jury the significance of the Sun Belt Tournament. Um, the Sun Belt Tournament is the tournament that we have to win that tournament to get to the NCAA tournament. So you lose your first game, your chances of getting to the NCAA tournament are diminished. And uh, in 2011, what was the did what were the goals starting out the season? To make it to the final four. So that to do that, we it, have to make it into the NCAA tournament. Yes. Sir. And in trying to accomplish that goal, what accomplishments did the team make in terms of the conference? Um, can you repeat that? Sorry. Yes. What what goals did the team meet in regard to the conference part? We wanted to win the conference. And did you win the regular season title? Uh, yes, sir. And But the regular season title does not guarantee that you'll make it. No, it's just the seeding for our Sun Belt Tournament. So it's very important to win the Sun Belt Tournament. Very important, yes, sir. And it's very, would it be important for all the players to be eligible? Yes, sir. Now, in this particular year, 2011, what happened in the game versus Arkansas State, the first game of the Sun Belt Tournament? We lost. Did you get to go to the NCAA tournaments? Yes, sir. You got to go anyway? Yes, sir. But you didn't know that at we, the time? No, at large bid, which is a very low possibility of getting. If I could have just a moment, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Now, Ms. Lanning, uh, let me ask you this question about basketball. Does, the, does Coach Insel have a policy about road games and cell phones? Yes, we're not allowed. They take our cell phones up. And did you always turn in a cell phone? Yes, sir. You're out of school now. Did you always turn in a real one? Oh, no, we had another one. What's I mean, that? like you would take a, a fake one. And what's that called? Um, the, f the fake cell phone? Yeah. Oh, well, it's really a real phone. Right. But Have you ever heard the term candy phone? Uh, yeah. 
Okay, can be fun. <laughs> okay. Did you do that all the time or just some of the time? Um, I guess as the years went on, I sometimes, sometimes I did. It just depended on where we were going, but yeah, most of the time I did it. Yes, sir. And then let me, let me ask you about this. You've mentioned uh, that you mentored or uh, Miss Stewart. Do you know what her favorite colors were? Yes, sir, red and black. And how did you know that? Um, just because of us talking and just knowing what she wore and show you this photograph which has been marked exhibit 4e do you see that towel yes sir what color is that red do you see those glasses there beside it yes sir and what color are those red Ms. Lanning, you said that you was at the hospital, your sister had a baby on March 2nd? Yes, sir. And that you went down to the emergency room, right? Yes, sir. And you talked to the detective that night, didn't you? Yes, sir. You, and you didn't say anything about marijuana and that Ms. Stewart was concerned about failing a drug screen? You didn't, you didn't tell the police officer that, did you? No, I told him that I would recall of an incident. I told him about that. Okay, you told him that they, they had argued back in January? Yeah, that she had been talking about that there had been marijuana in the apartment. Does it surprise you it's nowhere in the police officer's notes of your conversation? I don't know. Did you give a written statement? No, I gave a spoken statement. Did you follow Ms. Stewart on Twitter? Um, no, sir, I don't have a Twitter. Okay. Does it surprise you that Nowhere in her Twitter does she reference Miss Madden smoking marijuana. I've never looked at her Twitter, so. And you say that this back in January, is that just ironic that that's when this issue with the office came up? Did she tell you about that? No, sir. Did she tell you about Mr. Anuna taking up residency at the apartment? No, I was not aware of that. She didn't tell you any of that? No, sir. Those are my questions. Other questions, Mr. Watson? Ms. Lanning, do you remember the name of the officer you talked to? Officer Abbott. And that's James Abbott with the Murfreesboro Police Department? Yes, sir. And you you did tell him that uh, Ms. Stewart had advised you that she was having problems with her roommate in January of 2011? Yes, sir. And you also told him you weren't aware of any violent incidents between Ms. Lanning and, I mean, excuse me, Ms. Uh, Madden and Ms. Stewart? Right. That's all. Another question, Mr. Brandon? No, sir. Any questions? Not seeing any. Thank you, ma'am. You said that. Thank you. Thank you.